Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a sound system on my Audi A5. This will be my first video in English. I'm not a native speaker, but many people request uh, to do my tutorials, especially on the uh, Bluetooth module on the Audi in English, so that you can understand. And the subwoofer installation today I'm going to show you in English. Stay tuned. What we have here is an Audi A5 B8, uh, the facelifted version. Uh, it's from 2016. And as you can see, it already has the Bang & Olufsen system pre-installed. And what we are going to do today is uh, we want to upgrade the subwoofer, which is this guy here. Um, the problem with the subwoofer is this thin sheet metal. It rattles all the time, so if you pump up the bass, you get a lot of rattle. And the subwoofer itself is uh, pretty weak. And what we are going to do is uh, we're going to upgrade this with a 10-inch Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. And we're also gonna sound dampen uh, the sheet metal. We also have these uh, door removal tools, which I previously used uh, to dampen the doors. So the first thing you need to do is uh, fold down your back seats. And then you can see what we've already seen before. The subwoofer is under here, which is exactly there. So what we need to do is remove this piece. And to get access to it, we first need to remove these panels on either side. But be careful because there's the airbag module in there. So guys, after a long frustrating time, I finally figured the problem out with, out, uh, with removing the C pillars. And I'm gonna show you. The problem was I only found a manual online for the Sportback or the Audi A4, which is indeed for the rest of the car pretty similar. But this is the only area where the coupe differs or the coupe is whatever you want to call it, uh, the two-door version. It differs because this C-pillar is freaking massive and it has this little airbag sticker in there. And this is not only a sticker, this is because, as I said again, this is a much bigger C-pillar. This has a really, really big clip in it. And those are the ones that you will also find on the Sportback and the Audi A4 which you can just pull off, but this one, no chance pulling it off. You need to start prying from here and from here. And you need to use the thinnest tool you have available. Uh, I, will link, uh, I will leave a link to this kit in the description of the video. And you want to use this very thin one that has this on one side and that on the other side. It's a bit formed like this. And then you just want to pry under here and until you start really getting under it. It's really really hard in the beginning but uh, the clip will loosen uh, the further you pry. So just just try it over and over again uh, the clip will come loose eventually. And it is a bit hard with the uh, camera set up right where I would uh, normally sit. So, uh, this might take a bit longer than usual. So as you can see, uh, the first crack uh, has appeared. And I'm slid in with the tool. And now I'm going to start prying. You can see it comes loose at the very top. And I can now put the bigger end into it. And try to push here where it's, where it's connected. Okay, right. this side is already loose, so I'm going to work my way to this side where I'm going to try to push in the clip, just gently twist it to lever it out until you finally have it hanging in there and then you just need to pry it out. Uh, I will use my gloves for that because it is really sharp and can hurt your fingers. As you can see my fingers are already a bit beat up. So I'm not even going to try it with my bare hands. I'm using the gloves here and just rip it out. There you go. And one thing you need to make sure is that you grab all of the loose clips 
and attach them back to the panels before you can pop them in otherwise it won't be held in completely tight So, uh, once you removed the two grills, you have the uh, holes there for the speakers. You have the big subwoofer, or not so big subwoofer. And you have uh, the four screws that hold the subwoofer to this plate. As a little trick, get your fingers under here and find the clips, you can feel them. And when you find the clips, you just want to have your one hand here, your other hand here, and you just want to lever it out, uh, which will then pop the clips. And it now slides up and down. So the front clips are loose. You now want to, from the back, pry it to the front. So you want to grab somewhere here on the sides and push it towards you. So uh, once this deck is removed, we have full access to all the thin sheet metal we want to dampen with the aluminium butyl mats and also the subwoofer which we are going to replace. What I have here is the, uh, is a Rockford Fosgate woofer. Uh, the exact details I will put in the description. Uh, I choose this woofer because it is for one, eight ohms and it is infinite baffle compatible which means I don't need a, a chassis under here because it uses the whole trunk as an infinite baffle, as a large enclosure but we have one small problem it is like a millimeter too wide on each side so it barely doesn't fit and as I don't want to cut the metal uh, because it ruins the uh, it ruins the looks of the car from under here. I just uh, need to manufacture a small wooden plate. So as you can now see, I made a uh, paper template from a carton, which uh, is quite easy to handle with just some scissors or paper cutters. And this is now uh, made that it can be specifically lay at the parts where there's more metal and it's thinner where there's less metal. So it has maximum contact at the edges uh, to support the new subwoofer. And I will now transfer this uh, template over to the already pre-cut uh, wood that I made for the subwoofer. So I now made the uh, paper template to a wooden one which raises the subwoofer just enough uh, for it that it fits.
once I uh, put the fabric on the wood, it looks reasonably nicer and blends in more with the OEM Audi stuff. Don't see the wood anymore, but you see the carpet, which make it look almost like this was the subwoofer that came from the factory. And the only thing that I'm going to do that will maybe show is of course the wire wiring because there will be wires visible but i have got some clever ideas on how to hide them and make them look like this was indeed the subwoofer that was in here from the beginning So I now pre-marked uh, the holes on the fabric. As you can see, they're now yellow on the fabric, so I can pre-drill them and to screw a mounting plate in. And as I showed you at the back, I will now do the same with the four mounting holes for the woofer. And as you can see, I can only use four because the other four are... There's no wood underneath, so... Yeah.
but I uh, listened to it and it sounded very good, so I put the rear shelf back on. But as you can see, it lays directly on the woofer, so I marked these bits and I'm gonna take it back out and cut it here so that it fits with the woofer. Once I cut this out, the subwoofer perfectly fits and does not interfere. Uh, this dampening material, I will glue it to the top with a little taser stripe. But as far as this hard shelf is concerned, the woofer does not collide anymore. And before you pop the panels back in, you of course have to remove this notch because otherwise it would puncture right in the subwoofer. So I'm going to dremel this out. One thing you always need to make sure before putting things back together is that these little clips are inserted into uh, the, plastic the plastic housings so uh, that you can clip them in because if you forget them uh, it doesn't fully attach to the frame and might rattle or come loose over time. So when you're going to put uh, the C pillar back in you have to watch out for these uh, little hooks they all have each uh, a fitting hole on the on this top panel as well as in the metal and you need to push it down and then to the back and then you can attach uh, it to the clips So, I now fixed the wire, which the good thing is you can almost not see. So, it is black. I wrapped it in this, uh, this cloth, uh, kind of looking bloom, and finished it off with some Tesa tape. And now it looks really nice. And when you open the trunk and you peek down, oh, you see a subwoofer, black wiring looks really really close to stock i like it now i just have to clean up the whole car so everything is installed and i'm now going to show you a little bass test with some royalty free music from the youtube audio library 
and you can watch out and actually see the rear view mirror wobble from the sheer amount of pressure that this new subwoofer builds. Pretty awesome, isn't it?